fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And um, the children in this day and age don't get the amount of freedom that they do under Everybody. any circumstances. Hey, you we got your picture say, taken? Yeah, we yeah. just yeah. say goodbye hey, to the kids and local, they're busy like all it. day well, and, and, and stuff. And they don't children these days don't get that kind of freedom. I, I, a, that's, that's great. True. And B, isn't it the perfect vacation where you don't have to be attending to them, but you still have that bonding time over the meals or if you're sharing an activity? Uh, that, mm -hmm. to me, is like the ideal family vacation. Yeah, and yeah. so yeah. people Definitely. really like it. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. All right, we're all here. Okay. Brick? Awesome. We're okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the Tuesday, August 15th, 2017, meeting of the Wilma Public Library District Board of Trustees. Please come to order. Uh, Jan, Madam Secretary, would you please call the roll? I certainly will. Trustee Johnson? Here. Trustee Robert Rogers? Here. Trustee McDonald? Here. Trustee O'Loughlin? Here. Trustee Barshus? Here. Trustee Wolf? Here. Okay. First item of business is to approve the July minutes located behind tab one. Could I get a motion to approve? I move approval. Can I, I get a second? Se it's moved and seconded. Any discussion? Uh, if not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Um, we have no presentations. Um, we do have a member of the public here, but I think we're going to hear. Uh, from her later in the meeting. We'll move on to the Treasury's report. Ron? Well, as uh, you might expect, and as most of you paid your tax bills recently, we received about a million dollars in real estate taxes and less than $20,000 from other sources. Our primary expenses during the month were uh, employee health insurance and library materials. Um, there's nothing else extraordinary given that this is the first month of the new fiscal year. Um, the second item that we have before us is the bills and salaries for July. I move approval of those bills and salaries, which are tab A3. Second. Okay, uh, it's been moved and second approval of the bills and salaries. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Um, Jan, can you call the roll on that? Okay. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barges. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Okay. Um, first action item, item um, 6A, the Illinois Annual Report, Ippler, um, and as noted in the agenda, um, you, ha you were given an updated report. Um, for this meeting with some additional information, possible changes. This is a document that we require, that we file, we are required to file annually. It sometimes has slightly different pieces of information that they're looking at each year. Um, is there anything additional you'd like to say about this, Heather? Um, there's a couple of new things that we're tracking that weren't being tracked before. Um, that things like um, study room usage is being tracked differently. Um, they're starting to ask about passive programming, which are those kinds of um, you know people just drop in and do a, do a program like a scavenger hunt or something like that. So, you know, we're we're adjusting the way we collect statistics based upon some of this. Um, there weren't tremendously huge differences in the numbers between this year and last year. Um, there was a slight, well, there was, the, the biggest increase financially was in our internet cost because we increased our bandwidth this year. Because we increased what? Our bandwidth. Oh, okay. So that, that was the sort of difference in cost there. But otherwise, pretty much the numbers stayed very steady. Is there any discussion? Does anyone have any questions? There's a lot of actually interesting information here if you want to take the time to sort of dig into it, think about it, you know, maybe take this, keep it. And if you've got any questions, you know, ask Heather. And as I said, it's, it's, there's actually a lot of interesting information in it. Mm -hmm. And to try to check it from year to year, too, to see where there are yeah. trends. And obviously, we have, we, our attendance was down a little bit, but that's because of the construction, right. you know. Um, so we mm -hmm. need to yeah. adopt. Oh. Yeah. I move approval of the uh, IPLAR report as submitted. Second. Um, <coughs> do 
we have to do a roll call on this one? <coughs> no. 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 So. Uh, any further discussion? Just a, a clarification on repair of sidewalks, curbing, and parking Ready? areas. The uh, repair of the sidewalks, curbing, and parking areas. Mm -hmm. It's on page whatever page it is. Yes. E22. E22. Yeah. yeah. Is that front, side? That's off? the front sidewalk. Okay. All that hardscape that's yeah. going to be part of the landscape plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, all in favor of approving the IPLA report? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, the report is approved. Um, the next item is the item located behind tab um, uh, four, and that is Anita Cox. Tab five. five. Mm -hmm. Did I say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tab five. Um, and you have the materials your, there. Yeah, that's what we're going to be. Um, and uh, is there? You want to come forward, Ms. Cox? Come? If if you want to speak, um, you have the materials, and obviously we met. Ms. All our board meetings are to are public, uh, and televised to the public. That is correct. Well, do you want me to speak first? Or yeah, why don't you speak first? Okay. So, um, Ms. Cox was issued a um, letter banning her until this board meeting uh, because of inappropriate behavior exhibited in the computer lab um, when she was approached by staff to uh, correct her behavior. She got um, angry and lost her temper and yelled and lots of profanity and um, that caused us to ban her at that time. Um, I am re recommending from this point forward a three-month ban because of her inability to monitor her temper to the extent that is needed in the library. Um, she came to talk to me, and I felt like she has the ability to uh, recognize that she, she feels badly when she loses her temper and um, yells at people, but she still continues to do it um, because she was here before the board hmm, six months ago, something like that. We did not issue a ban at that point, but I'm recommending we do at this point. I am not recommending a year ban. And the reason I'm not recommending a year ban is she does not to hack other patrons. She's not aggressive towards others in that way. Uh, she gets very defensive when she is reminded about the rules, um, but it is a temporary situation. And um, the following day, she is always able to correct her behavior at that point. So that's why I'm recommending the three-month ban. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Cox, would you like to address the board? Thank you. Hi, I'm Lanita Cox. All that seems like it's fabricated. I did not lose my temper. The only reason what happened was I was sitting at my at the computer lab. As I was sitting at the computer lab, I was um the um one the, the guy that sits in the computer lab. Every time I say something, I could call. He'll come over here say, "You're too loud. Turn your radio off. I mean, stop laughing. You're too loud." A guy come in there, him and his son, uh, a, a young, young adult, he came in. He started hollering. He sat down at the computer next to me. So I picked up my phone. I was already taking pictures of the stuff that was on the computer because I use it to keep all stuff in my phone. So the guy sat next to me, and he hollered, Dad! And I turned around, and I looked at him. He didn't move. Lenita still sit there. So I'm watching. I ain't say nothing. So the dad come over and communicate. They talking. Dude didn't ever get up and say anything. I think that's inappropriate. Why you keep addressing me? Why I keep them on? Every time I turn around, you got, you approach me if, if I call. So the pictures was going. My phone was new. And it was going click, 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 click. So I was trying to take it, you know, and try to get it level to see if it stopped clicking. Apparently something happened. They started thinking I was taking pictures. Runs out till security that took pictures. Dude come in there, he hollered. He didn't say, are you taking any pictures? You can't take it, you know, um, people not. No, you can't do that. You can't be coming. He run up, run, brushed up. You can't be taking pictures. 
I'm like, hold on. It ain't against the law. I ain't mad. It ain't no against the law for me to take pictures of anybody, which I should have took pictures to prove that this here thing that they was doing, I felt right, I felt discriminated against. Every time I come in the library, you got to dress me inappropriately for whatever reason, unnecessary. I cough, you, you come up to me and tell me I'm wrong. No, you can't take pictures, you got to come out. I, okay, fine, everybody gotta go. So, but your security is so breathless, he runs up, he don't talk to somebody. He don't come and address you nicely or whatever, appropriately, hey, you know, you can't take pictures, you can't do this, and, uh, you know, nigga. try not to if you're doing it or whatever. Everybody gotta get up. So I took stuff back, and I took the picture of the library. He wasn't standing in front of me. Now he's pushing chairs. He see me standing there taking a picture. He jumps right in front of it. Now he in the picture. He say, uh-uh. He runs back out there and tell him again. She in there taking pictures of me. So they run up behind me. Now here he go, he gonna look for him. They looking for him, right? But Lanita's so mad and everything. I'm trying to just take a picture. I took a picture, I'm, I'm gonna prove this now because I know it's gonna go a little bit further. It's gonna get bigger than what it's supposed to be. Lanita, you know, abruptly, you know, we talk about this behavior, talk about the problem, <coughs> but I tell them what's going on. <coughs> now here they follow me. You know, you got to get out, you got to go out. So all of a sudden now he running all up on me, door security, now he all in my face. Now he about ready to jump him, push me out the door with this picture. See, they tell me anytime you feel like your life is in danger or inappropriately done, they just take a picture of it, get proof. This is my proof. But he don't have no problem coming up here. So I tell him, he run up in my face, then that's when I curse. Get, get, you know, put my hands, get the half out my, come on, you, you gotta go. Now I might have said that. That ain't enough to put nobody at the library. Come on, you being a little bit too extensive now. That ain't even enough. You know, for me, and then you run up on me like that, I'm a woman? Come on, how, what am I supposed to do? Now you, now you all up in my face. Your hands all up in my face now. What am I supposed to do then? So, but now I'm supposed to be cursing and going off and everything. But Lenita come and talk to her about my behavior. What I done, I tell her the same thing. I say the same thing. What, man? You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't touch a picture of the guy and the boy talking or even filmed it because, see, every time I turn around, you have something to say to me. Inappropriate. Oh, you know, it just feel like I, now every time I come to the library, I feel discriminated again. I feel like, why you got the, why this boy, why this boy, and I come to the library and check this out. Let's even top it off. I say something, go in there, sit down. <laughs> you know, I say I'm coming, <coughs> laugh, or talk. She don't get up. The girl, other girl, she don't even get up and say anything. This boy here, he seems to kind of, she has a serious problem. I don't know what it is. So I said, that's, you know what? Since you want to just ask me coming out the uh, uh, library three months, why don't y'all recommend, why don't y'all support me with a, uh, like, with a uh, computer lab? Computer, why don't you support, support me with a whole Scott, computer? Scott, we're going to have to continue. That's it. Okay. All right, but thank you so much. Um, we have a recommendation from um, Heather to um, exclude Ms. Cox for three months. Um, can I have a motion to that effect? I'll move. <coughs> okay, so could I get a second? A second. Any discussion? Well, I think the fact that it's been multiple times in right. terms of the warning, right. I think that we're only doing it for three months as opposed to the typical year. Right. I think we, we really want to be chance. able to continue to have Ms. Cox as a patron. Uh, we want no, I don't her, want to come back here. If, 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 if your security can't address me right, if you know, run up on me like he do, I think it's inappropriate what he do me. But uh, every time I turn around, you know. Come here. Could we, um, could, uh, could, could Ms. Cox refer to... Uh, it wasn't clear to me whether that was a patron or a security guard. Staff. Staffer. And you've reviewed the incident with the staffer? And I did. I reviewed this with all staff involved. We had monitors as well as supervisors and multiple people who have dealt with Ms. Cox in the past. Uh, and we've been talking about this, and everyone, uh, both, they all agreed that a ban would be appropriate in this situation um, because uh, she has been um, yelling and using profanity and causing disturbances in the library. Um, and she acknowledges that. Um, so then the big, then the question is. There was a bunch of yelling back and forth. The guy was trying to get me out. 
And according to the reports, there have been many times where there's been pictures taken of, of staff members, so it wasn't just this morning. Correct. Yeah, okay, so. um, okay, and um, staff also, uh, we all agreed that uh, nobody laid hands on you. At, at first, she said she felt her life was in danger. Yeah, Chris approved it, though. And I, and then I well, asked. Chris approved right here. He had the door with me. But he did not lay hands on you. He, he was not it's in your physical space. His behavior was inappropriate. It was enough to feel life threatening to me. So I have a picture. So what are you saying? So you want to press charges against me for being right a black now, no. Right now we have a motion on the floor. How would it be like that? Ms. Cox, we have a, picture we have a motion on the floor to ban Ms. Cox for a period of three months. Is there any further discussion with that? On that? No, I think so. We got a second, didn't we, Cynthia? Yes, we did. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Cox, we hope to see you again in three months.